I happen to be a silly pseudonym. Let's play some Brotato. I do like the idea of trying a more elemental heavy build. Perhaps we should go with this mage. We can give it a shot. And as usual, I should mention this game is technically a demo, but a completely free demo, which you can download on Steam right now. Hmm. I do like the glasses. Getting a little extra range is a welcome idea. Don't think we want the rock. Be a little more careful with that. Run, 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 hide, run. Also, I need my cat to not be over the lower right hand corner of the monitor so I can actually see what in the world I'm doing. Um. I do like the idea of increasing our attack speed. Uh, I do want that max HP, but do I want the elemental damage increase? We already have pretty decent elemental damage. Wouldn't mind the dodge, but I think we just go with the healing or the max health. Could get a torch. Another weapon would be nice. More damage, less range would be nice. I like all of these, really. Little regeneration would be quite welcome. I think I want the weapon. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, I'm very glad we have a second weapon. Oh, run and hide, run and hide. Hoping for an item or something, but can't always be lucky, I suppose. Quite literally, can't always be lucky. Harvesting range regeneration. Ooh. Let's get some regeneration going. Well, I did mention you can't always be lucky, but maybe we can be a little lucky. I don't know if we want a gun. Give up one max HP for two elemental damage. Cyberball, 10% chance to deal 2 damage when a random enemy dies. Based on luck. We have decent luck. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Don't just stand there and let the enemy shoot you. Turns out that is not a wise way to play this or most games really. Letting the enemy shoot you, not a good idea in most games. You heard it here first, I'm certain. Those are the hard-hitting tips you can only find right here. Happy to take that healing, thank you kindly. I need that item that helps spread the damage around a bit. That would be nice. More range, more lifesteal, more dodge. I want it all. I think I take the lifesteal. I think I want all of this too. Take a torch, take a shiv, take a plant. Maximize that extra damage. Uh, 
Uh, train. Ah. All right. That is annoying, but not surprising. Definitely need to get the hang of this one. Try that again. I might, but I think I might want a different set. Maybe a different starting weapon. Also, I think I'll put a cut in here because, yeah, my cat needs to get off the desk so I can actually see. Future pseudonym here. So, a little bit of an issue. I had to take another break after I started a similar run because the cat jumped on the desk and was trying to smash my keyboard. Not ideal. So, I did that, start up a recording again, and it turned out whatever that cat did when it jumped on my keyboard messed up that middle recording. So, I'm just going to insert this here, tell you that I did something fairly similar to start with, with this run, and I actually managed to do my first ever clear of this demo with the next run. So, I did want to show that. It was fun, I enjoyed it, all that good stuff. But I do have to apologize and put this in here because, yeah, once again, cat, keyboard, messed up everything in that second portion of the recording. So, you get this instead. Now, on with the rest of the show. And we return. Always fun when you have to interrupt a recording for something like that, but so it goes. More HP, more damage, but more enemies. That's an interesting trade-off. I think we take it, though. I think we take it. Something that takes advantage of our luck to deal one damage to a random enemy, but less elemental damage. Uh, one damage isn't that much. I think we just recycle that. I could get to neutral lifesteal, or just get more health or dodge. I think we got dodge. Armor. We don't have any armor. Or just get more damage. Getting up to 17 damage wouldn't be bad. But being able to absorb 3 attack damage is probably the smart choice. I would like speed, but I think this has to be the attack speed instead. 36 attack speed. That's going to be helpful. More armor, less damage, or spear. I think we go with the spear. Just upgrade that to a level 3 item. Even faster, even more attack. Seems pretty good. Yeah, I think that's all we do. We take that and we run. Run and hide, run and hide. I do want this tree though. I'm trying, I'm trying. Am I trying very well? Probably not, but I am trying. Hmm. So much experience. Just going to waste. Uh, more health times plus nine. Oh my. More damage, more elemental damage. I want all of this. But I think I get with the health. That's almost half again my current health. Mm, actually get positive lifesteal or just get higher dodge chance. I want all of this. I think I go with the dodge. Could get another torch, could get cacti. I think I buy the torch. Do I want this cacti? Sure. One upgraded torch. And I could, if I needed to, combine these shivs and buy a stick, perhaps. But the stick seems to really synergize with other sticks. Twelve by five instead of nine by four. That is not bad at all. 
slightly faster, slightly better range. I'll take it. We'll keep the knives for short range at the moment. Oh, run, run, run. And hide too, but mostly run. Even with our bonus to experience gain, level ups are definitely in much shorter supply than they used to be. Ouch, pain, ouch. Ranged enemies, that's cheating. Bad tomato, when the world's this. Start with half of your health, but you get six regeneration. Okay. Color me intrigued. More damage harvesting crit damage. Crit chance isn't that high. Harvesting. I'm leaning towards the damage here, even though it's the one thing that doesn't have a rarity upgrade. Could get even more regeneration, more L mill damage, or dodge chance. I want all of it. Go with the L mill damage. Ricochet. Projectiles bounce to a random enemy, but they have less damage. That sounds very amazing with the right range build, but we don't have a range build. More piercing damage, more. Harvesting, but less armor, huh? That would double our harvesting. Sure. I'm willing to trade one armor for getting a lot more experience and materials at the end of every wave. Hmm. That's actually tempting. Less range, but more burn damage, huh? Think we risk it without. But it was tempting. As usual, we do need to remember that we're we're an LML damage build, so it does take time for our LML damage to actually kick in. Can't just hit things and expect them to be dead. We've got to hit things and then wait a few seconds for them to die. Which might have been a good reason to pick up that range decrease for faster burning, but... I don't know. Positives and negatives. So that's a big wave of enemies just going to appear right there. More armor, less damage. Sure. More damage, more crit damage, more health. How much health can we stack up here? I do want the extra damage too. More armor, range damage, or melee. I think we got the armor. Just based on rarity. Well, I can get a lot of shiv upgrades, I suppose. Combine those two into a blue and then pick up this one. Can I combine you into a purple? A little bit less damage, but more speed. And then I just replace that one shiv with this shiv. We can always trade it later if we need to. Three times twenty bounce. Range is the same. Cooldown's a little better. Damage is better. 
All right. I see a tree. I see you tree. I see you tree, but I don't think I have time to get to you, so I'm just gonna gather experience instead. Life steal but less elemental damage. I'll give up one elemental damage for the chance to steal some life. I will definitely take up an increase to pickup range. Hmm, could have just gotten that, but I think I'll take the damage up instead. Speed and max health. A little speed sounds useful. Could get another elemental shiv. Does that upgrade you? Is there a level 4? I haven't seen a level 4 yet. No, there is not, apparently. Cannot buy it. Slow ourselves down. But slow down enemies. Sounds useful. Let's take it. So everything's upgraded except for our cacti club, huh? And we have a nice, pleasant everything in green or gray. Nothing in red. We're only getting positive stats here today. Or neutral. But that doesn't sound as good, so I'm going with positive. No item tree? Holding out on me, aren't you? There you go. This tree knew it was up. They knew on which side of the alien bread the alien butter was breaded. That's how aliens do things. You wouldn't understand. It's an alien thing. Ah, there's so much stuff here. I just need to survive long enough for my regeneration, right? Right. Ah. Ooh. More speed, less range. I don't think so. Life steal or health? Let's go with the health. More damage, more elemental damage speed. I'll take this just because it's the rarest of them. Less luck, but more materials at the start of a wave. Projectiles pierce through one additional enemy. Does have a lightning projectile. More melee damage, less range damage. We don't care about the range damage. Or we could just upgrade our cacti club. We'll upgrade the Cacti Club, and then I think we actually will lock for Mastery. That is a nice damage increase to our melee attacks. But with the Projectile Upgrade, I'm curious to see how this club will do. That's a nasty combination right there. Good. I don't know if this is the game design in general or if it's just me, but I definitely feel like there is a pressure here to always be a little risky 
you don't play risky, you're going to eventually just not be able to keep up with the enemy. On multiple levels. I don't know, again, that might just be my playstyle. I don't know. 10% chance to deal 5 damage to a random enemy when an enemy dies. That seems pretty good. Level 4, okay. I mean, that's great, but do I want this attack speed even more? I kind of think I do. As much as I would love more harvesting, I think I need the attack speed. And I think I will definitely take the range here. And I will happily pick up this mastery. It does lower the range damage. We actually have one red, but we don't have any ranged weapons. Oh, I am loving this extra range. Actually hitting enemies well before they get close to us. What kind of concept is this? They explode. Ah, so nicely. Yeah, you can't stick in a corner for long. They'll chase you down. I would like more dodge, please. One. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> that is my first win with the Brotato demo. And it was all thanks to hitting things, burning things, zapping things. Really. Just a lot of a lot of different stuff going on with this run, but it was pretty fun. This Ugly Tooth helped us survive. The pickup range was nice. Getting lots of experience obviously helped a great deal. Sad Tomato was pretty, pretty good. We usually didn't have a lot of trouble surviving early on, but that extra health regeneration was vital. And this bandana was pretty nice because it did help our knives and our cacti do a little extra damage. Pretty good. As I've already mentioned before, if you want to try the game out for yourself, there is a link in the description below where you can go to the Steam page and download the demo completely free. Go enjoy, have fun, see if you like it. And as usual, I do thank you all for stopping by.